Yes, with his partner in blue, Federico Staxrude. Garnett at the line, Pat Smith the return. Let's play pickleball. I love good first points, Dave. Yes, I do, too. You know, often you, you get one right into the net or a quick, unforced error. Not this time. One, two, two. That would be a very poor yes. second point, though. <laughs> yeah, right, it would be. That's that's more like the, the first point style is a miss hit from Federico Staxer. That might be the only time we say, this yeah. and say that in this match. Very nice from the Santa Clara Bronco, Connor Garnett and Pat Smith again showing off that uh, right arm and uh, one of the nicest guys on tour. Second serve. Nice handling at the kitchen line from Staxrud and Tejas. And again, tough day for these athletes. They had to drive all over creation to a second location, and now they're playing in a huge match quarterfinal. So it's the same for everybody, though. So uh, who handles it the best here today? Yeah, just got to wipe that out. The Texas weather, it comes, it goes. It spits a little bit. Uh, you never know exactly what it's going to do. But like you said, Dave, we got live pickleball. So Tui's ripped twice by Garnett, but then it's Staxrud that comes through. Yeah, the fellas are firing early, and that is just Three, one, one. what we've been seeing a lot of throughout these matches the last couple tournaments. Uh, Pat Smith looking to step over. He prefers that heavier two-handed backhand. That time he was forced to reach with one, and I think it cost one, one, him. One. Second serve. Staxrud has already made his way to the singles final for the fifth out of five tournaments, so he's already going to be playing for a gold. He hopes to do that in men's doubles as well. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that like the fifth out of 11 or something. No, fifth <laughs> no. out of five, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Guys, good. Five, one, two. Uh oh, cocktail from Pat Smith, and this is not a good start. And Tejas and Staxrud are a team that scores in bunches. Oh, what an ATP by Connor Garnett. Did I mean, he have room? I, I literally don't think he had the angle. That was the spin and the control that he has to make that around the post. Off the tape goes deep. That's one of the best ATPs or around the post you will ever see just because of what it took on the swing path to get there from Garnett. Uh, Fed's like, I got a two of my own here, brother. Hey, I think he knows we're talking about Connor Garnett's two handed backhand, and he just wants to let us Six, know one, that one. his is just fine. I just what? missed on the return. And really, I, I'm not sure there's really a great spot to go when returning uh, to Federico Seven, and Pablo. One, one. Both have great drives and both crash forward very well. Well, that was air melt about two feet deep, so uh, we've seen some amazing points <laughs> yes. in a couple where we've struggled. Seven, one, two. And uh, two out of three games to 11, win by two is what uh, we've got going on here. And uh, one, seven, one. They're trying to advance to the semifinals in men's dubs.
What a point from Garnett and Smith. You saw the big difference between tennis and pickleball there. Harder to put an overhead away. Yeah, absolutely. And I think when that goes up in the middle, I do prefer Two, Pablo Tejas to take that because there are two forehands, so there's not a clear-cut person to take that ball. Fed's like, I'm sick of hearing about his two, and I'm sick of hearing about his around the post. I got one of my own, but just carves it with one there. Two, yeah, the ball two. doesn't compress, so you got to hit those overheads through the court from that previous point. Can't bounce them into the stands. Yep. Wow, that's not... That, Pat was like, yeah, right and trying to buy it just deep, though, so uh, got tied up a little bit, Adam. Yeah, a patented Pat Patent Smith offensive combination, though. He will not stop firing. What was that about? He wouldn't stop. <laughs> he wouldn't stop. <laughs> and a great cover in the middle, too, from Pablo. I know we have one lefty on court, but this is a rare situation where I think the right side players are more two. volatile and the left side guys are more solid. Right. Just in general, I usually try to test the more up and down player early, and sometimes you have to go away from that very quickly if they're hot, but they can also sprinkle in some errors and give you some uh, freebies. Great pressure from Garnett there. Yeah, nice job. Just a blend of pace and spin, and, and all of those shots in the at the lower body of Pablo Tay is much more difficult to dig those. Yes, please. Yes. What a battle! All backhands too. And, Two-hander from Garnett and a one-hander from Tejas, and Tejas wins that battle. Two that was fun. Good dodge, so Wait. Pat Smith had his ATP defended there. Uh, smooth defense of the ATP from Federico. Three, two. Big rip from Garnett, and uh, it's nice of Connor to wear the shirt that he's Wait, got on two. there, because if you're not sure which one he is, it's right there for you. <laughs> Nice cash move there by Fed. I mean, he's he, he's smooth. Yeah. He really is. Like he's seven O's and smooth. Eight, four, yeah. Oh man, tell you what. Second serve. That's a it's it's a pretty good fill from a, a nice pull on offense from Connor Garnett, but that two hander so deceptive. And that's a big reason why the righty-lefty combination helps defend that. What a shot from Pat Smith. That time's the yeah is in. Uh, you'll also hear several languages from Pat. Yes, it, it's usually anger when he goes to German, but uh, you know he'll, he'll let it fly in a variety of ways. A big energy player and really feeds off of emotion. a half-hearted speed up from Pat Smith. And a couple of times now, we've been talking about this first strike pickleball. Pat Smith has had a third shot drive attempt on the forehand side, and Connor Garnett has kind of hung back. I would like to see, if that ball goes to the to the Pat Smith forehand and he's gonna rip away, I wanna see the athleticism of, athleticism of Connor Garnett moving forward and putting on pressure. Ages of the players on court. Garnett, 27. Stacksrude, 28. Tay has 29. Pat Smith, 40. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Ooh, just say as long as that fill in the middle you were just talking about. Yeah, it's so important. And, and they both crash to the middle nicely. A for one. Oh, 
What a duel we had in the OK Corral there for Tejas and Garnett, and Tejas takes that one again. Yeah, and a little shoulder chest bump there to his partner, Federico. I don't think he needed to wave that one deeper than the three feet out it already was, but uh, we like showmen, so go right ahead. I agree. Good put away power from Pat Smith. Had a couple looks earlier on that one, not Nine coming back. Two. High formation Ten. and it worked beautifully. Staxrud has earned a game point for his squad. Ten for two. Side out. Yeah, we need a couple more of those from Pablo who has played a pretty dang clean yes. game one. Four, ten, one. There was a race to the high ball, and Garnett's <laughs> yes. just a little quicker than Pat. I just love Five, it. Come ten, on, man. 40 years old, competing with the young bucks and competing well. Right on cue. We love when the players come through on the analysis for you there, Adam. Great shot from Pat. Not too much swing. And this can happen Six, in pickleball. Ten, Teams go on a big run when they save a game point. That's just a great speed up from Federico Staxrude because it is not easy to jam up Pat Smith. Often when you attack him, the ball comes back quicker than you hit it. But when you hit it to the perfect spot, you're rewarded with a high ball. That's a, yeah, that's a great eye from Connor Garnett. But Pablo Tellez, when he hits that one-hander from the chest, man, he really hits it. Oh, and uh, just exploded off the net and tagged him, and then the reaction was Garnett and Smith on the comeback trail. Staxford and Tejas took the time out to slow that train down. Will it work? Time in. Eight, ten, two. The answer is no, and they're within one. They are. I like what, uh, what Federico did there as Connor was a bit back, but he caught the tape after some good digs from Pat Smith and Connor Garnett. Oh, my goodness. For a minute, I thought Garnett might try to hit Pablo. He was so close to him, I mean, and then he just rips an ATP. Yeah, great shot. But I think Pablo thought the same thing as he kind of got out of the way there. but can't sneak in front. Yeah, and that cross-body backhand of Connor Garnett, much Thank easier you. to do that to a right-handed player than the left-handed Pablo Tejas. Yeah. Look at Pat Smith fight and fends that off, and they will go to a two. They thought they'd be serving with a game point. And a big reaction Thank from you. Federico Staxrud as well. Unbelievable defense all over that court. Yes, I tell you what, had some very fun points throughout game one. 
And unfortunately for Garnett and Smith, that slow start could possibly yeah. cost them. Let Game point two. number two. Side out. Okay, two saved. It won't cost them just yet. 10, 11, Dave. one. Nope. Oh, I wanted it to come over just for the entertainment value. Oh, it, it, something special would have happened, but Federico, I think he is pulling more offensive of triggers than anyone on court now, which is a bit surprising. Yeah. I mean, Pat Smith just flying forward. Yeah, I mean, when he hits it well, it's as clean and as crisp of a ball as we have on tour. Uh oh, and a miss return in a hurry to get over to his half of the 20 by 44. And folks, now we have a game point on the other side. 12, 11, 2. <laughs> the trademark shot finds the tape. So two saved on one side. Now Staxford and Tejas have a save. There you go, and Pat, you know Connor Garnett is very fleet of foot. He's going to be where he needs to be. But Dave, the emotional swings of this sport are just back and forth. These players have to really lock it in mentally as well as physically. 12 by one. What a block and counter from Tejas. Yeah, and he had, he had swatted a couple with the forehand. This time he stays sitting on the backhand and somehow hit it very clean. I've been on the other end of that Connor Garnett two-hander, and it is not easy to do that. Third game point. And emphatically with an Ernie, Pablo Tejas says, Vamos, we got game number one. At Pickleball Central, we're all about you. Your pickleball journey. We've got the largest selection of paddles, nets, shoes, balls, accessories, and more. The lowest prices guaranteed. Find it cheaper somewhere else. We'll match it. Don't love it? Send it back. Our world-class customer service. We'll take care of you. Plus, every dollar you spend earns you discounts on future orders. For all your pickleball needs, trust the experts. The experts. We're here for you. Pickleball Central. And where we treated to a great game one, we hope to see more of the same here. Pat Smith will game start two, off in. game zero, zero, number two. two. Side That's out. really been the difference for me, is the Connor Garnett speed up and how Pablo Tejas is handling it. And you even saw Connor try to switch it up and zero, go zero, line one. right there. Pablo Tejas is on it right now. Second serve. Ambitious in the uh, dictionary. Well, yeah, I, I, I agree. I like his core position, everything zero, he zero, did. Two. But when that ball comes down at his feet, he's got to pull back a little bit. Right out. That heavy power, and he's he's one of those players. You know, you know, Dave. I don't love cross court attacks, but when you hit it like that, <laughs> yeah. you can pretty much get away with it. When it's a bazooka, <laughs> go right ahead. There's Point. the running Tui right down the middle. Where's the center fielder? I thought two four ends in the middle was the elixir. Not that time. And Connor one, zero, one. can create so much power without his feet on the ground. He's hopping around. He's moving quick. Second serve. That's a good ball from Pablo. And I, I think uh, uh, Pablo and Federico One, zero, two. to the middle of the court is, is a pretty good spot to go against this particular team. Point. We saw some out wide offense from Pat Smith and Connor Garnett, Garnett known for two, that zero, even two. though it hasn't worked amazing for him in this particular match. Point. Wow, off the tape, off of Tejas, you cannot Reset it like a soccer player. Three zero two. Catch that and then rip it. That 
is a beautiful angle. Get out your protractor, Federica Stacks Root. I mean, David landed in the kitchen. Yes, it did. With that angle on that much power to Zero, land three, it one. in the kitchen? No way. Great look from the truck. My goodness, Second, the third. poor coverage. <laughs> I mean, it's total chaos on some of these ports. And you, you said it in game one. We have some quick Zero, three, points. Two. And then a little bit of everything from the fellas. No way. Pat Side Smith out. on the dead run takes it all the way against the grain. And he was blocked off by, I think, Connor Garnett was blocking him from seeing that ball. He just sticks three, a zero, one, out zero, and hits one. an amazing shot. Second serve. And you can see how powerful and how much spin that drive has. Great first volley from Fed. Three zero two. Side out. So, while it doesn't appear to be a big deal, when you're up 3 0, the other team scuffling, zero, three, you're one. playing great. Didn't get an add to the scoreboard there. Point. I, I mean, I think Pat has to hold right there. Yes. And that is a lot of court for Connor Garnett to cover. So if Federico can pull that ball out one, wide three, with one. a soft angle and then rip it up the middle, it's going to be a nice combination. Point. Fires again. Yeah. And he's, he's had three spots. Body of Pat to the middle two, three, and a couple uh, up the line as well. Mixing up his spots nicely. Oh, there's Point. the dreaded HTP. You want to go around the post. You don't want to hit the post. Even if it grazes it, that's the other team's point. I, if he would have if he would have pulled that one out. With it, I mean, he had one earlier where he didn't have the angle. His spin and his stroke created it. Three, three, Couldn't one. Couldn't go two for two, though. Point. Little bumper cars there, and uh, Connor's going to bounce off the Winter Soldier every time. <laughs> yeah, he is. And I like the protection on the first ball Four, from three, Connor one. Garnett, but he's got to know his buddy's up there for the next ball. Let that forehand from Pat take over. Second serve. really the first time that Connor's been able to freeze Pablo on that two-handed speed up off the bounce. They're going to need more of that Four, three, to two. extend this match. That's unbelievable from Pat because he was holding a backhand. Oh, he was sitting heavy backhand to switch over and not just get a paddle on it on the forehand side, <laughs> but hit it well. A great shot Three, right four, there. One. Love the kitchen sink and the neck Left cam. Reserve. Shows us all the reflexes of these great athletes. Three, four, one. Push up, fall, right foot, point. Okay, so Jim Price says, uh, I saw a push off fault, which means you cannot go backwards by pushing off in the kitchen. You gotta get that right foot down again. Clearly did that. All of us tennis players that came to pickleball are used no, to hitting our no, overheads that way. Forward, However, you can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, you and, gotta, here we got okay. a toe tap or drag four, four, one. Or, or something to, to not push off. It's not easy to do in the moment. Second serve. Yeah, you got to turn into a wide receiver on that and just dot the eye on the sideline there to get <laughs> uh, get your toe down four, again. Four, two. So four, four here, game two. Oh, Side out. Garnett was actually in decent position. Yeah, to slap that one. Uh, you know, you want to drop it into the kitchen and give yourself time to move forward, but sometimes hard and low can be a good option uh, as well. 4-4-1. Four, four, one. One. 
Second serve. He, he, he knew he missed it as soon as he hit it. 4-4-2. Four, four, just comes off the paddle a little awkward. Side out. What was that about cross-court attacks? Yeah, I, I think he might have got away with that one as Pablo was much more on that one than the previous four, ball. Four, one. But like I said, when you have pace, you can get away with more. Just heavy. It's like a flamethrower. I mean, this is this is. I mean, Pablo Tejas has been countering well, and not just in this match Five, four, for, one. for months and months and months. So, for Pat to be jamming him up multiple times, well done. Oh, just take over, <laughs> Connor Garnett. Inside out, down the middle, and then just came flying in front of Pat. Yeah, and Pat gave him a little tush tap when it was all <laughs> over. Like, hey, young man, you just go right ahead, sir. <laughs> Six four one. Second serve. Six four two. Side out. Wow. Welcome back, everybody. Garnett and Smith trying to force a third Four, six, and deciding one. game. Second serve. Yeah, and Fed just keeps giving it to him, and he's frustrated. Yeah, when you come around the outside of the ball, often it Four, pushes six, two. wide. That's just too Try much down. spin on that one. I'm just glad the forefathers didn't say you can't hit it around. <laughs> right, or maybe yeah. they didn't even know that was a thing, probably, yeah. when they created it. But it's one of the more entertaining shots in Six, our four, sport, one. the around the post. I was talking about earlier with that around the post is Federico has two dinks. He has that slice dink and then the ball where he Seven, kind four, of one. hooks it and pulls it around the side of the ball. And that's the ball when I was playing that I gave up too many ATPs. Second serve. I mean, Tejas has been by far the winner in those head-to-head -head battles with Garnett today. Yeah, I agree. And I think coming into the match, I would have had to give the slight edge to Connor when he's starting the offense with the two-hander. Seven, four, two. playing great. Just got out of the strike zone of Pat Smith. Sometimes he gets his base too wide and he can't take that shuffle step that he Four, needs seven, to. I think that's what happened there. leaving partner communication a good way to not give up ATPs if you're Federico Stacks was just dink it to the middle yeah. of the court and that's what he's been doing the last few Five, points. Seven, Second it's a lot less dangerous the Smith backhand and the Garnett forehand. Yeah I said it was a, a reasonable spot to go earlier and I'm Five, definitely seven, sticking two. with that. Two in this 
offensive opportunity for Taz and Staxford that have got to go down. Six, seven, two. There we go. Out. Yeah, that's a great ball. Freezing the two forehands. No one even makes contact. Nice deception. Pace and spin from Connor Garnett. Seven, six, one. Solid, solid little mini firefight from the fellas and that last ball hooked on the forehand side by Pat Smith Long. 7-6-2. Oh Side out. Hayes handles the offense from Pat Smith coming in hot and then turns that Six, defense seven, offense on the next ball. and Tejas that come out on top. Uh, clean swings, awkward swings, uh, just, <laughs> just Fed just stabs one with say. the backhand side. And some casual seven, seven, swings one. in there too. <laughs> wow, what a fun point. Oh my. Oh, oh they wanted second, that, sir. they switched at the kitchen, which was very entertaining. Yes, it doesn't happen often. We see the Johns brothers do it occasionally, and I have seen this team do it seven, before, seven, so I thought it might be coming. I'm glad we got to see that. Right out. Great flying first volley from Garnett. So we're tied at seven. Who is gonna seven, grab seven, game two with some great play down the stretch? kind of baited Pat to go there in the open court and he went for too much. What a handle on the overhead earlier in that rally. Seven, seven, two. Just wide. <laughs> point, love it. Gotcha. Start out. Yeah, nice job of handling. That's two heavy shots from Pat Smith. Boys on the near end. Federico seven, seven, and Pablo handling it all though. Second serve. Yeah, that, that drop floating up enough for Connor, Connor Garnett seven, seven, to be two. aggressive with it. He is owning Garnett. He is, and he, man, he really released on that finishing shot, too. So a shorter, compact counterattack, and then the second ball just let it fly. Media break. Garnett and Smith were serving at 7-4-1 and looked to be in command, and uh, Skechers coming out with some pink shoes next Time week. In. That is going to be awesome. Eight, seven, Everybody two. wants what Catherine Parento and Tyson McGuffin have been wearing, so we got you. You got to get that guy Boink. with the long arms I mean, on the pickleball I mean, court, that reach. <laughs> I mean, you got the whole thing covered. You can play I for Nine, seven, two. Oh, I thought Pablo could have picked right that yeah. off in the middle. Seven, nine, one.
Pablo Tejas, have a day. Uh, I mean, not the best attack from Federico Staxer, but why not when Pablo's hands are this hot? 792. Oh, point. just missed it, or that would have been the culmination of an unbelievable point for him. I, I would have erupted a little bit <laughs> had he pulled that last shot off. Wow, and Garnett misses going for a very dainty backhand that you don't usually see. Yeah, uh, he's he's shocked. We're a bit shocked, but got to play big in the big moments, and this Nine, is eight, a one. big moment in game two. Wow. Second serve. Stacks were in command, and then it kisses off the tape. Yeah, and that's that singles forehand that he just attacks, Nine, eight, two. but tough luck. Oh. He's there. This is crazy. Oh, no, and to have that would be the last shot. Twice, Taz is like, oh, no. And then Staxford comes flying behind him once, then up to the kitchen on another one. Look Next at this point. speed. Oh, man. And then one of the more routine shots in the rally is pushed wide by Garnett, and we are at match point. Yeah, no idea who's serving. They, they had no idea. No, they switched seven 10, 8, times 2. in that rally. Wow, and it's Staxrud that pulls the trigger. He's been doing it all match long. Well, I think, why not pull that at Connor Garnett? Because Pablo's hands are so good. Yeah. He's taking that at the Eight, Winter ten, Soldier's one. body. Not sure that was the proper decision. Missing from Pablo's game was an ATP in this match, and there's that as well. Yeah, just work, work it in there, Pablo. Firing on all cylinders. 8 10 2. Sorry, uh -oh. So they cannot. Chip away at the lead Match or point. take one of their own. Match point number two for Staxrud and Tejas. 10 8 1. And that point will do it. Staxrud and Tejas take down a very game effort from Garnett and Smith. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Well, guys, it was a struggle to close game one out. They had a few game points against you. What was important to think about as you took that time out and were able to finish it off? You know, for us, it's just to stay positive. We have had 
a lot of those matches like that this year, and yeah, they haven't gone our way, so we just wanted to keep focused pretty much. Well, it was interesting to see a steadier left side player and a more volatile right side player. Part of that is because you are a lefty, which works so well in the middle. How is that changing the way these rallies were looking? That's a tough question for me. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing out there. But uh, yeah, just think cross court, and if it's high, attack down the line. Well, guys, pickleball has absolutely changed both of your lives. You found it a few years back. What does life look like, and what would you be doing if you weren't out here competing? I was a tennis coach before this, so I would probably be teaching some ladies, 3.0 clinic, something like that. <laughs> yeah. That sounds honestly much better. I don't know. Fed, what would you be doing? Uh, I don't know, in the beach, just looking at the ocean. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 